Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today is August 25, 2020. I'm on my way to Cabela's, uh, League City, to pick up a gun. I bought the other night. Uh, I got this deal. Uh, it, it's an over and under shotgun by Stoger, 12 gauge. I forgot if it's 28 or 30 inches, but um, it's under $300 so why wouldn't you not buy that I'm gonna kick my butt uh, for not buying that if the deal passed and found out about it okay so I, I jumped on it the other night and yesterday it's, I received an email it's ready for pickup but before going there I'll try to pass uh, I'll pass by Academy and try to buy ammo uh, looking online there's no ammo online the closest that you can get an ammo is from sportsmansguide.com and it's a Tula ammo steel cased ammo and it's back, back ordered until November November 2020 wow today's only August so let's see if I can get at least three boxes from Academy I know they're they're limiting the purchase hopefully there's still some it's 9.54 a.m. okay I'm here so I thought I was late according to the guy they didn't have ammo today and I think yesterday also so two days in a row but they get delivery every day but look at the shelves Ooh. Okay, I'm back in the car. Let me show you what I got. I bought one box of heavy steel for my 20 gauge. Uh, 1400 FPS, two shot, three inch length. Seven, eight ounce. So at least I said, uh, at least the prices on uh, shotgun shells did, almost did not change. And I got two boxes of this, four tens, uh, two and a half inches, 1200 FPS, one half ounce line shot for my four ten. It's at 8.99, so still a good price, regular price. But uh, a better price was from Walmart, which is 7.99, but it's not always available. And mini shells, I got two of these, 9.99. It's a good price. Uh, I don't know why I just bought two if it's a good price I should have bought more for my over and under shotgun that I'm gonna pick up later okay guys I'm here Cabela's at League City this is one big store
inside. Oh. oh, I live in Cabela's. Um, when I entered the, their gun library, the guy said I can't film there. So I asked him why. He said he doesn't know, it's just a policy. Okay, I didn't argue, so I just left. So, uh, I think that's the end of my gun porn inside Cabela's. I rarely go here because their prices are a bit higher than other retailers. Like, I saw the 20 gauge at, uh, shot shells that I bought from um, Academy a few minutes ago. They're, they are priced $1 higher here. Okay, but this is really a steal actually for $2.99 over and under. So let me show you when I get home. Okay guys, I'm home and this is the gun. And these are the shells that I bought from Academy. So let's open it up. The guy said, oh, I'm going to wrap this gun. You are free to do your shopping okay, as long as you don't remove the the tape okay so okay that's that's different because uh at walmart you know you know different place have different uh policies oh let me just put it here i have my trusty ten dollar gas station knife i don't know why this knife is always available when i need it so like i said to the guy at Cabela's, okay, I like the packaging, how they package it, okay. Um, has a key for the trigger lock and has a plastic case. So this is the upper case and this is the gun. What else we have here? I don't know what this is. Maybe for the chokes. Okay, instructions, and that's it. Okay, that's it for that side. I mean, so this is the stock wrapped in paper. And this is the trigger lock. And the barrel. I want to know if it's a 28 or a 30 inch. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. 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 Um, let's remove the trigger. Trigger lock. Remove the trigger lock. Two pointy thingy. Two holes. Let me twist it. It's okay. Is it? It's not doing it. Okay, it's loose. Why is it, why is it not separating? Man, so in an emergency, if you have a trigger lock like this, you're dead. Okay. Oh, I like the trigger. Steel, not plastic. Okay. And you need to separate your um, barrel from the foregrip forearm and just join this bear with me this is my first time doing this maybe two
Okay. Oh, easy. It just snaps in place. So this uh, single shots and double barrel shotguns are the original takedown firearms. You know, before. That's it. It snapped into place. That's it. Empty, empty, safe direction. Uh-huh. Safety. This is the brake action. Uh-huh. I like it. I like it. It's beautiful. Wood, not plastic. For under three hundred dollars, so wood and steel. Uh, can't find any plastic part. Let's see the trigger gu trigger guard. Trigger guard is steel also. Trigger guard is steel. This is the only plastic here. The blue uh, tag. Other than that, oh, this is rubber, of course. But this is a beautiful firearm that I have not seen under $300. I got this for $299. $299. Wow. Look at the barrels. Barrels. Uh huh. Does it have a fixed choke? I don't know. I have to no, you can put a choke. You can. Nice. So I'm not going to dry fire it until I have my snap caps. Maybe I'll use my spent shells. Oh, um, before I end the video, the reason I bought the mini shells, they're for my single shot shotguns and this uh what you might call it double barrel shotgun also why because single shots and this break open double action they're not particular of the size so safe direction Angular mini shells. Oh, how do you load the other one? It's too deep. Does it break some more? Okay, it breaks some more. Okay, I'm not gonna cock it or anything just to be safe, but look. If you want to practice, just practice low recoil shooting. Angular mini shells, and then it's up to you up to what shells. Because this break uh, open action, they're very versatile. So this that's it guys. My very first over and under shotgun by Condor. Condor uh, for under $300. As of today, if you're watching my video, the price is still live at Cabela's. Thanks for watching.